Hey guys, how's it going there? So, to understand that God is love is a hard concept for some. It was a difficult walk for me because I follow the rules and trends of life according to what had been portrayed to me via movies, music, religions, and my own quest to find out what love meant. Chasing the American dream, wanting to have all the materialistic possessions of a house, nice car, dogs, girlfriends, traveling, lots of money, and just enjoying life, you know what I mean? Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life come not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. 1 John 2.15-17 NIV Well, I guess I was listening to the lies of the devil rather than my Father in heaven. Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. John 14.6 ESV In the religion Zoroastrianism that I was brought up in, I knew of God, or so I thought I knew of being a good steward of the earth, thinking good thoughts, speaking good words, and doing good deeds. Nothing wrong with that. Unfortunately, there was no strict laws of what was considered sin, nor a real definition of love that I learned. I also found out recently that Zarathustra, the prophet, died at the age of 77 at the hands of one of his enemies while praying in a temple. For me, this was not enough, and not someone I wished to follow if he was unable to be resurrected after death. So, I shared this story with you because each of us has a different walk with Abba, the Father, Hopater in Greek, and I want you to know that no matter what your currently, current reality looks like, that God has not forsaken you or left you all alone. He has wanted a relationship with you since the day you were conceived in spirit in heaven, and then born on earth by your earthly parents. We actually belong to him. We are from him. He is so awesome though, and instead of forcing us to love him and ask for help for him, from him he gave us this thing called free will, allowing us to choose what we want to do with our lives, and at the end of the day, who we want to serve as our creator, Abba or Satan. Satan is very smart and has been allowed by God to run havoc on the world, if you can't tell. Many people love to blame the problems of the world on God and ask him why he didn't fix things here or why he doesn't do that there or, you know, things like that. But let me ask you though, if you don't have a loving relationship with your girlfriend, boyfriend, or anyone and just ask or take, 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 eventually that person will turn his or her back on you because you don't truly love or care for them. You are just a user and expect to get rewarded because you have some type of ego and think the world revolves around you. I know because I used to be this way and had many heartaches, backaches, and many doubts about who I am. I didn't know what our Abba's love was or felt like, so we have come to know and to believe that the love that God has for us. God is love and whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. 1 John 4.16 ESV I am glad I don't have to do this life alone anymore, nor try and prove myself to the world or live by some false religious teachings. I get to be who I am in Christ Jesus, and no matter what the color of your skin is or what part of the world you live in, we are all his children, and he has that much love for us all. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor free. There is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. That's in Galatians 3.28, the ESV. Jesus is my superhero. Whoop! He also told the Jews who thought they understood Jesus, said to him, If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. Why is my language not clear to you? Because you are unable to hear what I say. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, 
for there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Yet, because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Can any of you prove me guilty of sin? If I am telling the truth, why don't you believe me? Whoever belongs to God hears what God says. The reason you do not hear is that you do not belong to God. John 8:42 through 47 in the NIV. So my brothers and sisters, I truly tell you the same. Don't get lost in this world. Don't become a part of it. Stay true to who God created you to be. Stay true to the promises he has said for you in the Bible and live according to his words for you. He loves you so much that he gave up his only son to be crucified for a chance for all of us to inherit eternal life instead of hell. That's a pretty good deal. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16, the ESV. I hope that helped you guys out a lot. It really uh, changed some things for me as I got to learn more about God. And, uh, you know, I, I hope that blesses you. So take it easy. Peace out.